In a luxury hotel in France, the man has a date with the sexy women. While he was enjoying himself, the woman took a pistol out of her pocket. In an instant, they were shot. The woman found a key to the safe and turned on the tap. Then she put away the towel. She then sprinkled her pre-prepared combustion booster and threw her electrically charged hair dryer into the sink. In an instant, fire broke out. The next day, Frank got a delivery assignment. As long as he can complete the task, he will be paid to 5 million euros one day. Frank arrived at the designated place on time. Anna walks out of the bank and gets into Frank's car. Where are the goods? Asked Frank. Anna, on the other hand, is just taking her time to dress up. By this time, two more similarly dressed women were seated in the back seat. These are the two women who killed people in the hotel. Frank was not happy now. The cargo became two women. He didn't want to work with them anymore. At this time, the police also found the car abnormal. Anna can only threaten Frank. It turned out that Anna had kidnapped Frank's father in advance to prevent him from not cooperating. At that moment, the policeman knocked on the window and asked Frank for his driver's license. Frank put his foot down and drove out for his father's safety. When the police realized something was wrong, they followed Frank's car for several blocks. Frank realized that the police were hard to get rid of. So he steered the wheel. The policemen's cars crashed into each other. Frank turned the car sharply. The police car didn't have time to react. Frank pressed the gas pedal again, passing an intersection. He looked at the water valve on the side of the road. As he drove around, the water valve burst open one by one. The spray from the valve blinded the police. After Frank got away from the police car, the woman in the car praised him. Kidding's not really my thing. Frank went to a basement and changed into another brand new car. Anna was worried that the car would be discovered when Frank pressed the button. The car exploded and disappeared. Meanwhile, gang boss Leo arrives at the police station. Turns out the guy killed at the hotel was his accountant. After the woman got the key, she went to the bank in disguise. She took Leo's money, jewelry and books in a special way. Then she ran away. This makes Leo very angry. Meanwhile, Frank takes Anna and they come to an abandoned factory. He finally met his captive father. Anna gives Frank a reward. Frank asks them to let him go. But Anna has changed her mind. She admires Frank and wants to continue working with him. Frank rejected her decisively. But Anna actually drugged Frank's father. If Frank doesn't cooperate, his father will be dead in 12 hours. Frank had to keep working with them. That evening, Frank took Anna to the hospital disguised as a doctor. They fetched a large bottle of narcotics from the storeroom. But the warehouse keeper asked him to stamp. Frank says okay. He then knocked out the caretaker and left the hospital with the gas bottle. Then they came to a bar. Frank carried the gas bottle backstage and replaced the smoke with anesthetic. But he was discovered by the staff. Frank immediately knocked him unconscious with a gas cylinder. Meanwhile, Anna gets the message and goes to the bathroom. She put on her pre-prepared gas mask. Frank moved the men into the house. But there are three strong security guards in the house. They went up and beat Frank. Frank picked up the steel pipes and quickly knocked them both down. At this time, people in the bar to liven up the atmosphere. Blowing smoke. A moment later, the dance floor shook and everyone collapsed. They went to the boss's office and took his fingerprints. They logged into his bank account and transferred all his money. As they were evacuating, some punks came along. Frank started the car and got out. He came to the car and knocked them down at once. Then he jumped into the cab through the skylight. Frank stepped on the gas, broke down the iron door, and left. At this time, Arcady and Gina come to Yuri's private jet pretending to be the plane staff. They slip medicine into the cup. Yuri drinks and goes to sleep soon. They took the prince and transferred Yuri's money the same way. When Gina succeeds, she tells Arcady to evacuate. Arcady knocked the captain unconscious. As they jumped, the captain collapsed and hit the accelerator. Instant acceleration of aircraft. It was too fast for Arcady to leave. He could only call Frank. Frank smashed through the guardrail and drove straight onto the airstrip. He opened the skylight and motioned for them to jump. Down. Yuri's bodyguard senses something is wrong and shoots Gina. Eventually, with Arcady behind them, they managed to get off the plane, but they were chased by the police. In order to lose the police quickly, Frank drove his car fast into the boarding bridge. He rampaged into the waiting hall. He continued to accelerate, smashing the glass and leaving. Back at the abandoned factory, they discover that Arcady can still do medicine. But in his current condition, he can only use perfume to sterilize the tweezers. He took out the bullet, sprinkled sugar on the silk, and pressed it against Gina's wound. This kills bacteria and stops the bleeding. After taking care of Gina, Frank learned that his father hadn't been poisoned after all. Anna did all this because 18 years ago, Leo, along with Bank and Yuri, 
captured a lot of girls to make money for him. Young girls were tortured by them. The four of them are one of them. They want to gain up on these bad guys. Frank finished working with them and left. Frank decided to send his father home, and he took refuge in another city. But his father was arrested by Leo's men as soon as he got home. Leo asks Frank to hand over Anna and them. Frank had to go back to the abandoned factory and discuss countermeasures with Anna and them. After destroying the clothes, they drive to Leo's place together. Frank handed over the money in exchange for his father's safety. Suddenly, Bank and Yuri visit. They saw the woman who robbed them. Anna works for Leo. Yuri is suspicious. Anna immediately said it was all Leo's idea. The atmosphere was suddenly tense. Leo couldn't explain it. He had to disclose the money in his account to prove his innocence. But Anna has arranged for another woman to come to the cabin. She transferred a lot of money to Leo's account. When Leo opened his account, he was shocked that his account suddenly has so much more money. Now the evidence is overwhelming. Leo had to fight back. They engaged in a gun battle, wounding each other. Two of Anna's sisters were also killed in the melee. At the same time, they transferred all the money from Leo's account. But they accidentally gave away the location. She was ambushed and shot once. With the last of her strength, she strangled the woman with a rope. At this point, Leo takes Anna on the yacht. Frank knocked down the enemy in front of him. He jumped on a motorboat and went after Leo. Just as Leo was about to flee in his car, Frank sped up and pulled the speedboat onto the shore. He kicked Leo out of the cab. Leo started running. Frank ran after him until he was cornered. Frank went up and punched Leo. He picked up another brick and threw it at Leo. But Leo pulled out a knife and cut Frank's arm. Then he attacked. Frank fought back and knocked Leo's knife down only to be punched twice by Leo. When Leo picked up the brick and tried to kill Frank, Anna arrives just in time to kill him. Leo fell into the ocean. Anna got a revenge, but her sister died. Anna divided her assets eight ways, giving each of her dead sisters 75 million euros. Frank and his father received 10 million euros each.